So in this part of the field here, uh, this is our high population strip we did, 12 rows, whole length of the field, 38,000 population. Um, in contrast to the rest of the field being roughly 32,000 to 30,000, depending on the location and the soil type. Go over about 100-ish 100 yards, 150 yards, we have our low population test strip, which is 25,000 population. Now, the whole thing with this is my yield goal is always 10 bushel per thousand plants. So uh, we started combine in this field. We are running mid to upper 200s on it right now. Uh, we just got it opened up in like two passes through the center. So we got a long ways to go with it. We really haven't got too much done. But I wanna show you the difference in this. We just walked up and down and I'm looking at the ears. I'm like, there's, there's consistent, but there's still a lot of inconsistency. And here's what I mean by it. This is 38,000 population. We've got, you'll see some of these, the little nubs. You'll see, are medium sized ones, huge kernels, 12 by 50, but they're humongous kernels. And then you'll find these ones. They look the same size as these, they're very similar. Same length, 16 by 50, but the kernels are a lot smaller. I'm noticing, go to put my hand around, they got about the same distance all the way around circumference wise, but bigger kernels. So we're gonna be picking this shortly and we'll see what the yield difference is. Does it make dollars and cents to buy more seed corn for higher yield compared to lower population? Now, these plants are a sunlight plant. They need photosynthesis. So the more you pack them in there and they don't get as much sunlight and as much photosynthesis, typically your yield starts going down if they gotta compete against each other. So this is strictly research on our farm just to see what works on our soils. Everybody soils differently. Um, you might see better yield on your farm with 36,000. You might see better yield on your farm with 20,000. Soil type makes a big difference. Rainfall throughout the year, plant date, um, soil fertility all make a difference in, in your population and where you should be planting at. So this is research on our farm that we're doing. Three different ear sizes, all with one hybrid with a different population change. We do testing on our farm like this, low population, high population. No starter and furrow, just flip the switch off, stick a flag in, go across the field. I recommend every farmer does some type of testing on their farm. Doesn't have to go into great detail, can be something really similar, simple, just like this. A flip of the switch on the, the, the monitor, just in my instance with my monitor, I just flip the population. It takes me less than five seconds to do. Stick a flag in the ground and we can see what we got going on. Little bit of time and research on your farm can pay huge dividends.